bit higher. Nope. All right, it's been a while. This thing's frozen. That's cold. Hey, this is Drew. Welcome back to Beyond Seclusion. Special thanks to Vortex for sending me this AMG UH1 Razor holographic sight to test. This thing is a beast. So the AMG UH1, this isn't an entry-level optic, okay? This isn't, this isn't created nor intended for just everybody to grab necessarily and toss on, on their weapon system. This is designed and created essentially for, for the military or for operators or at least that level of ruggedness. A lot of us, of course, love that and aren't in the military or operators and love to have a weapon sight like this to put on just because we know if we drop it, if it goes in the water or whatever, it's going to stand up. But let's take a look at this thing. So what does the AMG UH-1 have? Better question maybe is what doesn't it have? Take a look at it here. We've got a one MOA dot, red holographic, unlimited eye relief, 0.5 MOA, click adjustments, parallax free. We got a 14 hour auto shut off, which we can disable, which is a really nice feature. With the battery that comes with it, we can get 600 to 1500 hours. Nice thing is, is with the battery that comes with it, it's rechargeable. We've got a USB port here and we can recharge it. We're not gonna get as long a life with this as we would with a standard battery, but it is rechargeable. It is shock proof, fog proof, shatter proof. We've got an armor tech coating. This thing is built to take a beating. I like quick detach. I love that they have quick detach. I wish all red dot, uh, holographic, all those sites would just simply come integrated with quick detach because let's face it, if it gets broken or something, we want to pop that off there. It's, you know, it's great if we can co-witness, but if I've got broken or shards of glass, whatever, I just want to get the optic out of the way and go to my backup iron sights. This has got a really nice quick detach here. We've got the little lever that we have to push in order to engage that and loosen it. So it's not gonna accidentally pop off like a lot of the quick detaches that you'll see on some of the lower priced optics and rails. So it's Vortex, which that means we have a lifetime, no questions asked, guarantee. That is great. That's one of the things that I love about Vortex. They're not the only company that has that, but I do really like that about Vortex. Let's just get outside. I want to zero this in. It really is, I think, probably designed most for the 556, at least like the instruction manual, and as far as your zero doing a 50 yard, and that we zero at at 50 yards, but then we also have this triangle that we can use for close quarters, you know, 10 yards, 15 yards, and we're gonna put that to the test and see how well that works. So I just did a quick five shot zero with this. I don't know if it was already, you know, kind of dialed in, but I was only probably about four inches, a little low and to the right when I put this on. I'm not kidding, I, I grouped two like this with the first two shots, just the way it came, you know. And then I, I did some click adjustments. They click really nice. Okay, the up, or sorry, the right left feels a little bit tighter, but I can hear it. There we go. Okay, so for the adjustment, you just use a dime up and down, right and left, audible, palpable clicks, they're pretty good. So far, five shots, and I'm in the bullseye with this. Nice, I, I'm liking well, it. For a seven inch barrel with a 7.62 by 39, I'm, I'm really happy with that Vortex. This was the first two shots. I made some adjustments. We came over here. I took the muzzle brake off. I was doing a review on the muzzle brake, and I got a nice 
group there. Made a couple other adjustments and it moved up. I put the muzzle brake back on so it, it does seem to make a difference with or without the muzzle brake. But hey, you know, 50 yards with that red dot, that's that's great. Using oh, and this is using tool ammo. This is using Russian steel case tool 762 by 39. Okay, so I got this Vortex UH-01 dialed in at 50. Did a fantastic job. I was super impressed, you know, with a seven inch barrel <laughs> at 50 yards with a red dot using Russian steel case tool, a full metal jacket. That was a pretty impressive group. What I wanna do now is uh, just kind of unload, but I also wanna test on those little circles. That dot has got a triangle at the bottom for close quarter so that I don't have to try to compensate because usually if I, I zero at 50, it's gonna be off a little bit when I'm really up close. So let's see how it does. One. The little triangle with the circle I found, I'm actually, this isn't necessarily con considered close quarters. I guess for me, I'm thinking 25, 30 yards is close quarters, but uh, no. Actually, I gotta get up to like 10 feet, and then the triangle would actually be dead on. And actually, I should try that with a plate. I'll do that. Um, anyway, I like it. Uh, what I want to do now is I want to get a bit of a torture test. No, I'm not cooking it. This is cold water. UH-1. Just drop it in there. Just leave it in there for about 20 minutes. Kind of test some shock. The thing with water is pressure. So we got about three feet of water there. We'll just let that sit. That'll test it a lot better than up there in the kitchen. This is hot water. We put it in cold water. We'll let it sit in here a little bit, and then we're gonna stick it in the freezer. All right, whoops. All right, let's go toss this in the deep freeze. A little bit higher. I don't necessarily want to drop it on the concrete because I don't want to scrape it up. All right, let's go toss it in the freezer. It's nice and warm because it just came out of the hot tub. This is this is a cold deep freeze. It's not going to take it long to get down to sub freezing temperatures. All right, it's been a while. This thing's frozen. Yeah, that's cold. Still on. Let's go up and stick it on. You can see the frost. We gotta, we'll wipe that off here and we'll go down and fire it, see how it does. I just simply wipe the, the ice off the thing. It's cold enough out that it's not uh, condensating, although you can see it a little bit here on the outside, the condensation. The glass is doing great though. That's awesome. Let's actually, Let's just try it 200. I mean, we put that back on. If we hit that torso at 200, that's gonna say a lot. Let's give it a shot at 200. I didn't even try the 200 before I took it off and dumped it in water and stuck it in the freezer. I know it was on at 50, so it should be good to go. Let's give it a shot here. my bag oh no <laughs> Crap. this bag this bag's at the end that's a bad thing with short barrels is man you got to pay so close attention or you just shred your bags let's go down have some fun at short range i still got one in the chamber here before we go down there let's just stand quick and Hey guys, real quick before I forget, I've got these online courses that I published. They're what brings in actual money that pays for the ammo because I don't have an ammo company sponsoring me yet. 
that ends up costing click on them they're in the description just click on them it shoots them up in the search engine that helps support beyond seclusion go to our web page use our links you got to check out my amazon page i got this vortex on the amazon page anytime you use those links on the amazon page um, that helps support beyond seclusion same with any of the links on our web page some of you are doing awesome thanks for your support i think this is what they're talking about close quarters you know, to me, this seems really close, but actually this is farther than I would be for my concealed carry permit. And the difference between the dot in the reticle and the triangles, actually probably about five inches. You know, and that's, you know, if you're going for a critical shot, that, that makes a big difference. So let's just quick try and see where that's at. <laughs> that was, okay, sorry, you gotta see this. There you go. <laughs> it doesn't get any better than that. I love that little triangle. I'm never shooting at this distance, but again, think about who Vortex pretty much designed this for. This was designed with the idea of potentially replacing or competing with the EOTech, you know, possibly military law enforcement contracts. Let's have a little fun here on the steel. getting some sparks let's move a little farther back guys i like this vortex uh1 i was never a fan of the eotech and it really is pretty similar um this one looks different it looks heavier i really doubt i don't have an eotech i can't weigh but you can look up the specs i do just i like this site um i'm hoping vortex guys let me keep it Anyway, guys, Vortex, Razor, UH-1, holographic sight, five stars, two thumbs up, chalk proof, waterproof, fog proof, freezer proof. Um, I don't know what my deep freeze is. I know it's close to like down to zero degrees and it was cold in there. It had ice on it. Anyway, I hope you like this. Be sure to like, comment, sub check us out on facebook if you haven't done so we got all kinds of good stuff there you might be interested if you haven't checked out our web page check out our web page that's where uh, the home of the crazy stupid deals use our links that's the stuff that uh keeps products coming until next time happy shooting be safe remember gun control starts at home with you and me educating our kids mm -hmm.